Lots of. All right. Welcome back. This morning, more than 10,000 students, parents, and teachers will fill Austin streets downtown for the March for Our Lives rally. Thousands of students across the country are joining in, the biggest one in Washington, D.C. It's designed to show lawmakers how students want changes to school safety and gun laws. Join, joining me is Kari Siegenthaler, Jack Koppelman, and Connor Heffernan. They are all students who organized, at least helped organize, the Austin's Mar Austin March. What school do you guys attend? We're seniors at uh, the Liberal Arts and Science Academy. Okay, all right. Okay, so you all go to the same school. Yeah. Um, so uh, we know on Valentine's Day what happened in Parkland, Fort Florida, right, at Marjorie Stillman Douglas High School. Since then, there's just been this outpouring of support from students across the, across the country saying, this needs to end and we don't feel safe. Do you not feel safe at school? It's been hard coming from that. I mean, we already have all the other instances of gun violence in schools coming from Columbine, from Sandy Hook. And so that sentiment was already present in our minds. But seeing what happened at Parkland, Florida reiterated it, how this issue does not discriminate and it can happen at any time. Um, personally, sitting in my school, it is hard to feel safe. Thinking about all these incidents in the past that happened and no one knew that they were going to happen that day. Okay. Every day that I go to school could be my last. I see. So it's not that you walk around campus and you think, oh, that's an unlocked door or this is something or they're training no. us for it's not that it's just you're seeing all these incidents that are happening you're thinking man that could be here and yes. maybe looking around at students saying which ones could possibly bring a gun does that go on in your mind too maybe not that in particular but definitely just the general sense that I'm I may be in danger and I there's just nothing I can do I to uh, help keep myself safe and keep my fellow students safe uh, aside from what we're doing here today, which is just march so that we can uh, promote some good, sensible gun control mm -hmm. measures that will keep students safe in their schools. Now, do you talk to your parents or teachers, and what do they say to you? Well, um, the first thing that my mom said to me was that she was so proud of me for organizing this, but she wanted me to be careful, you know, because ultimately mm -hmm. this this effort is uh, in the national spotlight. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, organizing this at Aust in, in Austin, we know that there are going to be a lot of people out there. And we also know that since this is in Texas, yeah. you know, there will be counter-protesters. Yeah. Um, so, and, and that's the same thing with our teachers. And I, I think that everybody is very supportive of the fact that we are students who are organizing this because, you know, it, it's the students who are most directly affected by this. I'm glad you brought that, that Texas angle because, you know, we are in a big red state and people really believe in the Second Amendment here. So how do you square that with them to say, Second Amendment, you have that right. What, what are you saying to them? What we say is that, yes, we respect uh, people who own guns. We understand that the Second Amendment does exist. We aren't looking to repeal the Second Amendment. We're just looking to make some really good, uh, just sensible, small uh, reforms that will promote substantive change. I always say to someone who uh, is all about the Second Amendment and believes that no one should uh, promote any sort of gun control. I say that it was Antonin Scalia who said in his decision for DC versus Heller that the Second Amendment means that someone can have a handgun in their homes to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. Notably absent from his decision was people carrying weapons of war out in public. Okay. So okay. I just point to him. That's something different too because we do have uh, gun carrying laws here. But anyway, mm -hmm. let's move on because uh, really quickly, I'm, I'm asking for a little more time. What's going to happen today at this rally? Right. So um, we're starting at Austin City Hall, and almost immediately from there, we're going to be marching to the Texas State Capitol. And around 1.30, we're going to have um, our rally and all our guest speakers. And our guest speakers include uh, Mayor Steve Adler, um, City Councilman Al Allison Alter, okay. um, uh, Representative Jean Hinojosa, uh, Matthew McConaughey, and uh, Senator Kirk Watson. Okay. The uh, point .9 mile long uh, march starts at what time? Starts at around noon. Um, we are expecting people to show up a little bit late, so it'll start from between noon and 12:30. We're hoping everyone will arrive at the Capitol before 1:30 when the speeches start. All right, Kari, Jack, and Connor, stay safe, okay? Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, you for very joining much. us. Thanks.